guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to cut out pattern pieces on those awkward slippery fabrics and I'm going to show you a simple and easy technique. I'm Colleen G. Lee and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here we have some slippery fabrics and one of the reasons why it's so difficult to put your pattern pieces onto it and cut out is the fact that it is so slippery. So once you've got it on your table it will have a mind of its own and it will start to move about and can actually fall off your table. Now slippery fabrics include fabrics such as chiffons, satins and silks and those ones that have got loads of fluidity. The third thing you're going to need is tissue paper, any lightweight tissue paper will do. Place that into position, make sure it's got all the creases pressed out or smoothed out and then you're going to get your fabric which is this very fluid fabric that's got a mind of its own and you're going to place that on top. Now you can actually feel that when you put it on top there's kind of like this magnetism that's happening and that's what you want. So therefore the control of placing your fatten pieces on is taken over by the actual tissue paper itself. And another thing you need to be aware of is also with slippery fabrics, you can get your grain distorted so you need to be careful and make sure that your grain lines are as accurate as possible. Got it there, let's move it out and that should be fine. Not my fabric isn't moving and that's what you want. I now have my pattern pieces and the next thing to do is to position them on the straight of grain. Let's place them there and the other one there. And then what you do is pin through all thicknesses of the actual pattern. So you're going to go through the pattern, the fabric and also the tissue. So pin those into place and the tissue paper is what is holding this into position so I should get nice neat cuttings when I come to use my scissors and I've got another one here which I'll do as well I want to show you the actual technique that you should be using with your scissors when you're cutting out slippery fabrics Another one there, and one more. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is get my scissors and remember I'm cutting through the paper as well as the fabric. Now, the best thing to do is to actually make sure you get halfway between your scissors and just follow the curve around open your scissors again so you're making long strides with your scissors so you get a smooth even finished edge now I'll just cut along that straight edge I'm going to come around my table to make it a bit more easier for you to actually see what I'm doing Cut get to the middle of my shears, cut and then when you come to do curved edges just make sure that you move your scissors around the curve as you go and keeping your scissors quite low to the actual table because you don't want to be lifting your fabric you want to keep that as stable as possible even though the tissue is helping in that process. There we go. This one's cut. And then I'll take those pins out and I'll show you how nicely that is cut without any jagged edges. And there we have that's tissue. So we've got another pattern pocket there and there we have your fabric piece cut out. There you go fashion sewers, I hope this neat little trick will help you with your slippery fabrics and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the box below 
and I'll see you next time.